Shillong, a moviegoer's paradise, has been home to some prominent movie theaters located in the prime hub of the city. With the curtains falling down on most single screen theaters, Biju Cinema, established in pre independent India, is one of the last surviving iconic movie halls in the history of the cinematic heritage of Shillong. In this episode of Shillong's Iconic Structures, we are featuring one of the oldest movie hubs in the city. Biju Cinema, located at the center of a busy commercial area of Kandailat. Established in the early 1930s by a Bengali family, Biju Cinema is the only remaining single screen movie theater in the city. It has been catering to a diverse range of movies at a paltry ticketing price, which many believe to be the lowest in all of India. According to the co partner of Biju Cinema, KK Goenka, the cinema hall was taken over by his family in 1939 or even prior. Recalling the stories told by his father, Goenka said the land where Biju Cinema stands at present used to be a stable. A small makeshift hall was put together at a nearby barn to cater to the cinephiles back in the day. This is how the barn metamorphosed into a cinema watching space. As per the documents available with the Goenka family, the cinema license was issued to KK Goenka's father, Rameshwar Prasad Goenka, under the Assam Cinemas Regulation Act 1953. Biju Cinema is spread across 1036.37 square meters of land at Kandailat. Interestingly, the famed Kelvin Cinema, which unfortunately burned down in 1988, was run by the same family along with Anjali Hall, which has now progressed into a multiplex. Back in the day, the structure of Biju Cinema was partly wooden and partly concrete, while the two galleries, the front and back stalls were wooden and the balcony was entirely concrete. The wooden structure of Biju Cinema was destroyed in a devastating fire of 1967. In 1984, the hall underwent a major renovation. The number of seats was increased, new seating arrangements were installed, and the entire structure was made concrete. Did you know that Biju Cinema Hall still has the vintage Philips projector imported from Holland, which was purchased by the family in the 1950s, including the old film reels? Though defunct, the family still maintains the vintage items in the archive room. Biju Cinema has a capacity of 929 seats, 365 on the balcony, 319 in the front, and 245 at the back. However, at present, multiple seats barely benefit the business because on normal days, out of the 929 seats, hardly 3% are occupied. Despite several economic challenges that ultimately led to the closure of other single screen theaters like Payal and Dreamland, and the upgrade of Anjali to a multiplex, Biju Cinema is the only cinema hall in the state that continues to remain a single screen hall for over 8 decades now. Some of the memorable moments at Biju Cinema were the screening of hit Bollywood movies like Shole 1975 and Hero 1983 and the performance of Indian singer Anup Jalota in the 1980s. During the 1990s, the Bollywood film Hum Aapke Hai Kaun 1994 ran for 12 weeks in the cinema hall. It is said that in the pre-independence period, there was a craze among moviegoers for Raj Kapoor films. KK Goenka recollects some amusing moments from the past which linger in his mind. In the past, the audience would line up to watch cowboy films and throng the gates shouting way ar lai, which means one, two, three in Kasi. Later, this Kasi expression was vastly used by cinema enthusiasts to determine the popularity of a film. If it was way our lie, it meant that the movie was outstanding. That was in 1984. We had, uh, after renovation, we had opened the hall. I remember the date also, 24th November 1984. Uh, we started with this film, new film, Hero. And the crowd was pouring in. I mean, it was a, a day to be you know, glad that at last, after renovation, we have started a, the hall again. Indeed, the cinema hall is facing a threat from the advent of multiplexes and OTT platforms, but the deep emotional connection and sentimental value that Biju Cinema holds for the Goenka family is the sole reason that keeps them from closing it down. 
The current movie ticket rates at Biju Cinema are fixed at rupees 60, rupees 40, and rupees 20, respectively, for all films, and rupees 200, rupees 150, and rupees 100 for Kasi films, inclusive of GST. The rates for films other than Kasi films have remained stagnant since 2013 and are indicative of the apathy of the state government towards the film industry. The owners reiterated that the current fixed pricing rates for cinema tickets is choking the cinema exhibition industry and subsequently the film industry as a whole. I would say that uh, government should update themselves and look after the film industry so that more theaters can open, more multiplexes can open, it will cater to the needs of the people. What the people like, they like entertainment. So, I mean, this will. develop the state also the revenue of the state also biju what's in the name the present owners are of the assumption that the word biju may be a derivation from the french word bijou in the dictionary which translates to jewel true to its name the biju cinema is indeed a jewel for shilla biju cinema has gone through many trials and errors over the past several decades and the ever changing market dynamics continue to be seen as a threat But the Goenka family is trying to keep its legacy alive. 